Hi, peeps. So the other day I loaded up a vlog where me and Miss Moo we were hanging out at Barnes & Noble, having fun, did a little adventure looking around Anchorage. But I realized that I ended the vlog and I never told you guys what I got at Barnes & Noble. So I thought I would share with you that today and then some of my favorite books that I've loved reading. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to share with you, I already showed you in the other vlog, is the Love Monster book. I did end up buying it because I fell in love with it. I think it's the perfect Valentine's Day book, especially for toddlers. It's by Rachel Bright, um, and it's just so adorable. It's just a great storytelling of like finding those who you fit with sort of thing. Um, but it's great for toddlers because there's not a lot of words per page. That's one thing Miss Moo loves. She loves just like look at the pictures and just try to turn the page as fast as you can. So if you're trying to read her story, she's just like, turn the page, turn the page. So not having a lot of words per page sometimes is really beneficial. The next one I've been wanting kind of for a while since I ever saw it on her show, but it's The Tea Time with Sophia Grace and Rosie by Sophia Grace and Rosie. And these are the two girls from The Ellen Show, and I think they're absolutely adorable. I love them since they've been on that, um, and I just think this book is so cute. It just talks about how they're throwing a tea party, and it's just everything pink and sparkly and them, and it has a lot more words per page than the other book. So we don't always necessarily get to the story, but it, I just loves the pictures and she loves like the princess thing and stuff. Really cute. So the last thing I bought was for me because I love books. Um, it's called Going Road. This is actually the sequel to a book called Also Known As, which I originally read about a year ago, like last December. I was lucky enough to get an advanced copy of that book through a company called NetGalleys, who are amazing. They work with publishers to get advanced copies of books out to bloggers and vloggers and bookstore people so that they can promote their books. I think it's a great way to do it. But this is the second book. I was really sad when I ended also also known as because I thought it was going to be a standalone book. I'm just like, oh, this is such a good book. I wish there was a second, a sequel. And this is the sequel to the book. And it's, I haven't started it yet, but I'm so excited to start it. Um, so that's my purchases from Barnes & Noble. I'm going to move on to my top 15 favorite books. Um, I originally started with a top 10 list, but then I kind of narrowed it down. So I expanded it a little bit. And there's even still like special mentions. The first one, or the, number 15, it's called, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. This is Mindy Kaling's biography, and it is an absolute hoot. I fell in love with Mindy Kaling on her new show, The Mindy Project. I know she was Kelly on The Office, but I, I just fell in love with her on The Mindy Project. And this book just gives such an insight into her life and gave me a lot more background on her. So if you're looking for a biography that it's fun to read, that's definitely what I recommend. Number 14 is the Firelight series by Sophie Jordan. And this is a great kind of fantasy novel. It's about dragons, which sounds really kind of weird, and I was really hesitant to first read it because I'm like, oh, dragons, I don't know. But it's kind of a great love story triangle about this girl who's coming to terms with trying to find herself and being who she is and everything. And it's just a great read. It is a trilogy. A lot of these on here are trilogies. I really love books that just like blend into one another. So the first one is Firelight, the second one is Vanish, and the third one is Hidden. The number 13 is the Everneath series by Brody Ashton. Um, and once again, it's a trilogy. First one's Everbound or Everneath. Second one's Everbound, and the third one is Everfall, which actually isn't out yet. It comes out. January 21st, and so that's one I'm definitely looking forward to. This is a story about a girl who ends up getting her heart broken, and she meets this guy who convinces her to go into the Everneath um, because he's basically immortal, and he has to feed off, he basically feeds off feelings, um, and she survives, and it's really, really rare. And so it's a story about how she comes back from the Everneath, and what ended up happening to her, and it's just, it's an awesome read. I will admit it was a little slow in the beginning, but if you stick with it, it is so worth it. Um, and Everbound is even better than Everneath, so. Um, number 12 is the Hex Hall series by Rachel Hawkins. Oh, such a great read. If you don't know who Rachel Hawkins is, she is an amazing author. She um, is great on Twitter. She is quick-witted and funny and spunky and she is just like 
is who she is and she's true to herself now. Um, but her series, it is another sci-fi series. Um, and it's about this girl named Sophie Mercer. And what ends up happening is she is a witch. Um, and she ends up, she lives with her mom and she gets in trouble for using her magic powers. And she gets sent to basically like mythical being prep school, which is called Hex Hall. And she ends up meeting all these new characters and making new friends. And it's how she comes to terms with being a witch herself. Um, the second one in that is Demon Glass and then Spellbound because it is a trilogy. But then Rachel Hawkins also wrote off like a spinoff of one book, a oh, single book spinoff, um, off of the third book. And that's called School Spirits. And it's crazy because it totally has a cliffhanger ending and Rachel Hawkins says she may not write another book, at least not right now, or for that School Spirits series, and you're just like, ah, when you're the end of School Spirits, but it's really good as well. Number 11 is the He So, She So trilogy um, by Kieran Scott, um, and the three books in this is She's So Dead to Us, that's the first one, second one is He's So Not Worth It, and then the third one is This Is So Not Happening. These are books, um, they have two different perspectives. There's perspective from the female main character and perspective from the male main character. It's a great story. They are two great characters and just watching them kind of like fight and fall in love. It's just, it's awesome. And then there's some crazy drama as the books go on and you're just like, you want to fight for your characters and luckily everything ends up happily ever after, but you're still just like, why'd you do that? And next series, number 10, is the Princess for Hire series by Lindsay Levitt. This is kind of, I would say, aimed towards middle school readers, um, but I think it's also one of those books that just doesn't have an age limit because it has a good meaning for anyone that's going to read it. And it's just basically this girl ends up having magical potential. She doesn't have magical powers, but she has magical potential. And she sees this article in the newspaper about Princesses for Hire and this kind of fairy godmother comes and visits her and takes her on a test run to see if she could be a princess for hire, see if she has enough magical potential. And she ends up like filling in for princesses. And then you end up finding that there is an equivalent of a prince for hire. A couple other books that Lindsay has written is called Going Vintage, which is a standalone book, great book. Main character's name is Mallory. And then she has a new book coming out called Chapel Wars, and that is going to be out um, soon, later this year, like I think with, like, within the next month. Or so. so we recommend reading all of her books because she's amazing. The next series, number nine, is called The Sweet Shadow Series by Tara Lynn Childs. It is another sci-fi series. It's about these three girls who are basically descendants of Medusa. One girl knows she's a descendant of Medusa, and the other two find out, like, later on in life and it's how they come together and one of them ends up getting taken and it's about how the other two save, go and save her. It's fun, it's action packed and it's like girl power, which is really cool. So definitely recommend that one. Number eight is the Selection Trilogy by Kira Cass. This one is kind of dystopian and if you're wondering what dystopian is, it's like Hunger Games, Divergent, um, those are all dystopian novels. It's like post-apocalyptic, what the world became after the government and the world we're in now kind of like destroyed itself. So what ended up happening is the prince, um, Prince Maxon, who is super adorable and dreamy, I'm totally psyched, he's like my book boyfriend because I would just love to be Prince Maxon's queen or princess. Um, he has to choose a wife and the way he chooses a wife is they basically do this huge raffle and any of the eligible, eligible girls um, can basically apply to be his wife and it's like the bachelor dystopian version of the bachelor which i think is kind of cool so if you like the bachelor i would definitely recommend reading it um it's just a great series all about princesses who doesn't love princesses um, the next one, number seven, is The Bells Trilogy by Jen Kalanita. Jen Kalanita, another amazing author, um, but it's a story about this girl who's kind of from the poorer area of town in Virginia, and she ends up 
losing her mother when she's young and so she stays with her grandmother but her grandmother starts getting dementia and she starts losing her memory and so she can't take care of her anymore so she has to go live with her uncle he's actually a senator and so she ends up going and living with him and living in this really posh area of virginia and coming from the bad part of town moving to the good part of town it's almost like you know from the pauper to the prince and how she deals with it and just seeing the different way they live oh it's a great read super fun you know great drama and storytelling in that as well uh, let's see number six is the Die For Me trilogy by Amy Plum. Another sci-fi series, super awesome. So it's a series about Revenant, the main character Kate. Um, she lost her parents, they died tragically in a car accident. And uh, she goes and lives with her grandparents in Paris, France. So she meets this guy at the cafe and then she follows him and his friend and she sees his friend die. And so she's like freaking out and the guy she kind of has a crush on takes him back to his place which is a complete no-no because it's like the Revenant Sanctuary. And what ends up happening is she ends up a couple like, like a week later, ends up seeing the guy who died and she flips the lid because she's like, I saw you die, why are you alive? And basically these guys are immortal. And so that's a trilogy as well. The first one's called Die For Me, the second one's Until I Die, and then the third one's If I Should Die. So number five, and I really have a hard time putting this in number five because the author of my number five favorite book is actually my favorite author. I love every single one of her books. I would read them 10 times over if I had enough time because I read a lot. Um, but it's the Gallagher Girl series and the High Society series. They're kind of neck and neck um, and they're both by the same author, Ali Carter. The Gallagher Girl series has six books in it and the High Society only has three books right now. The Gallagher Girl series is a series based on four friends who actually are training to be spies. Like, like 007 meets a fancy prep school. That's what they're trained to be. And they always end up going on these super cool adventures and like trying to figure out how to be regular teenage girls. And then the High Society is a group uh, It's based on a, a family of thieves. Um, and the main character's name in that is Cat. And she basically, her father's framed for stealing something which he didn't steal. He is a thief, but he did not steal what he's being framed for. But it's her and her friends, and it's just fun and adventures and like artsy thief stuff is really cool. And then Ali Carter has actually done a free novella, which is a crossover book between the two series, between the Gallagher series and the High Society series. She's done a crossover book called Double Crossed. Um, and it is free on Amazon or anywhere, so you, I recommend going and read that. Um, number four is the Divergence series, and I know it's just about to be a book. I read this kind of after the first hype. Um, it is another dystopian book about this basically society who is separated into five different factions um, because they believe different things and but they also coexist with one another and the main character Triss she starts out as basically a selfless faction and she ends up going to the Dauntless which is this like crazy brave fiction because um, she likes the adventure but what ends up really happening is she's considered divergent so she really doesn't fit into one place and that really kind of low society's mind but she ends up being totally different and being a kick-ass girl because don't we all want that in our lives okay number three is the hunger games i know everyone loves the hunger games and it's only my number three i love the hunger games i read it before the books or before the movie came out a while before the movie came out i read hunger games fell in love read it in like a day and a half and we all know Katniss and Kita and Gail and their love triangle and how amazing Hunger Games is. Um, and that is by Suzanne Collins, as we all know. Um, and then number two, Harry Potter. Oh, goodness. Um, I've always been a Harry Potter fan. And I've been a Harry Potter, Harry Potter fan from the beginning. I remember my mom brought the book home. Um, she's like, this book is supposed to be good. I think you should read it. I read it, fell in love, and I was responsible for getting all my friends involved because they're like, what are you reading? Harry Potter? Wizards? That's weird. And I'm like, just read it. And actually, I wasn't from the beginning beginning. There were already like 
two, maybe three books out when I started reading it before it like really got big in the US. But I like zoomed through all of them. I've read each of the Harry Potter books like five or six times. Um, but the movies are over. But Harry Potter still in our hearts. Always and forever. <laughs> and number one! Yay! Woo! Okay. All time favorite book is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This book, seriously, is my go-to book whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I feel like, you know, I have nothing to read, this is a book I can always go back to. I love Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. It is another book based in Paris, France. This is where my love and my romance for Paris, France came from, was this book, was Anna and the French Kiss. Anna and Antonine are, like, seriously one of my OTPs. Love them forever and always. And then what? Stephanie Perkins did, which was amazing. Anna and French Kids is considered a standalone novel, but she wrote a companion novel. She's actually written two. The first one is Lola and the Boy Next Door, and another amazing book. Um, I, it's not as good as Anna and French Kids, but it's still amazing on its own. And Anna and Ant Antonine are in Lola and the Boy Next Door, which is awesome. I think it's just great. I love still being able to read about them, but they're kind of in the background story. And then there's a third companion, or a second companion book, a third book, called I Love the Happily Ever After. It unfortunately has been delayed. Um, don't have a tentative date, but we are anxiously awaiting. Um, and I know that when it comes out, she's gonna completely rock it, and it's gonna be another amazing book. It is the last companion book in the little series, and I am so stoked for it. Um, so those are my top 15. I hope you enjoyed them. Those are all of books that I absolutely love. There are tons and tons more. I could recommend books all day long, but this video is already crazy long. So I hope you liked it, and remember, be amazing. I'll see you soon. See you later, peeps.